This is a story about the first time I got stitches. I'm Richard Banks, AKA Last Name Banks. Just sit down, get ready, get some popcorn, cause it's gonna take a minute. I just started this job, not even three months. I haven't been working there for three months. So the benefits package hasn't came in yet. None of that is really counts. I'm still in training. They still trying to see if I'm gonna work out. So right now I still go with technicians that are trained in the field and has been working there for years. I work at EMC Security. So if you know about that, you know that we go in and we, we do cameras, we do fire systems, we do burglar alarms, we do motion detectors, all that. Since I'm new to the whole field, like I haven't even used a drill before I worked here, I'm just supposed to follow technicians and learn what they do. Basically, I'm just supposed to just watch right now. I'm just shadowing them. Not this day. This day, the head supervisor sent me with the guy right under him. And since he's so high up, he, I guess he expects that everyone knows what they're doing or he's used to working with people that know what they're doing. Well, he was working with me that day. <laughs> And uh, let's just say, I don't know what I'm doing. Now, it was going like a normal day would go. I was just following him, watching what he did, till we went to Tanger Outlet. And if you're in Georgia, you know Tanger Outlet is the place, boy. It's far from where I live, but it's the place. When you So when we get there, we see all the stores, Ralph Lauren, Nike, uh, Coach, DTLR, all that. We see all the stores, and then we go to the main office. We're like, uh, excuse me, ma'am, can you tell me where the fire panel is? She's like, oh yeah, uh, take that left right there, then you hit hit the right, you go straight down. Now a fire panel is red, so you'll see a red box. I'm like, whoa, we know, even I know the fire panel is red. You ain't have to tell us that. Uh, we should be telling you that the fire panel is red. So don't, don't, hey, hey, stand your boundaries now. Nah, I'm just playing. So we find the fire panel and we're looking to find the problem. And it all boils down to the coach store. We're like, okay, we gotta go to coach. Not the coach, coach store, coach, like where the bags. So we had to go to the coach store. We end up going there and we have to run a wire from the neighboring store to coach. In, in Tanger, if you haven't been there, it's like a square of stores outside. So it's an outside mall. It basically looks like a, a downstairs of a mall with no roof. And um, so the the store next to Coach is right here, and here's Coach. Now we start in this store and we have to run a wire up and over the wall and down into Coach. Well, to run a wire, we have to attach a pole and a wire together with a piece of tape, and then we run the pole and the wires is already connected, which allows in turn to move the wire when you move the pole. Now, I can run wire. I've, been, I've done that because it's simple, and I've been here for almost well two months now but at the time one month one month and three weeks basically so uh, yeah i could run wire so he gives me the wire to, to run and i get it over there to him i'm in the other store i get it to him and coach then i walk over there to watch what he's doing he finally he pulls the the rod down and as he pulls it down he hands me the rod to take the tape off now i'm taking the tape off like a normal human take the tape do 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 take the tape off keep rolling it off he's like oh he's mr fast man just oh throws me the knife i'm like huh <laughs> i grab the knife i'm like oh yeah not big deal i'm pressing it on the tape in the rod and i'm going Ugh. it's not catching it so i'm like dang huh maybe if i just do it harder it'll go swoop 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 blood everywhere i'm like whoa whoa it didn't even hurt that's the weird thing but i felt like you know that little weird feeling when you're bleeding you're like Ugh, what is that is that oozing <laughs> feel like but it's like projectile just i'm like Ugh. he's like i'm like i'm bleeding he's like boy get out they store don't bleed on their floor i'm like dang you don't care that i'm bleeding <laughs> like i forgot you i forgot that you just don't care about me like i'm like well can you tell me what a restroom is i don't know what a restroom is i'm like all right i go outside he's like don't bleed on their walkway i'm like dang can i control <laughs> like, i can't control that i'm bleeding you want me to tell my blood to stop he's like no go by the go by the truck then i finally go over there and i'm just waiting on him and then he finally comes and he's like i don't have a first aid kid uh use the use the booty you know, the, and the booty is for our feet so we don't get the floor dirty when we walk in there. I'm like, dang, my finger gonna be gone. This junk gonna get infected looking at this. And then he got, he calls the head supervisor, the guy that's right over him. He's like, yeah, I need you to come out. Bob just cut his finger. We call everybody Bob over there just for some reason. I don't know why they do it. I started to do it because they did it. I'm following? Nah, but um, 
He's like, yeah, Bob just cut his finger, so I need you to out here and take him to the nurse or hospital or whatever. So the, the head guy comes. I'm outside getting woozy like, oh. I'm like, bro, I'm getting woozy. He's like, oh, you one of those type of people that can't see their own blood? I'm like, no, I'm one of those type of people when they start bleeding, they can't see because they start dying and they can't breathe. <laughs> but I'm like, dang, man, like, can I get some AC? Like, you got me out here in the hot sun. It's Georgia in the, in the middle of August. Well, you thought it was going to be cold? So he finally let me get some AC, then I start calming down. I just take a picture and send it to my mom just to make sure I don't have to get stitches. I'm like, mom, just tell me now, do I have to get stitches? Because I need to be mentally prepared. I've always been scared to get stitches. I remember I was supposed to get stitches right here in my eye. And right here on my eye. Right here from basketball, right here. Probably be another story time because... That was a crazy day. When the supervisor came, I got out his car. I got out the Bob's car and went with the supervisor. Once I got in his car, he start. He took me to the back of Tanger. He knew all the pathways, secret entrances, everything. I'm like, dang, dude, you, yeah, you've been around the block, huh? He's like, yeah, I've been working here for 40 years. I'm like, yeah, I'm not even half that age. I'm like, yeah, you've been working for 40 years, so how old are you really? <laughs> you a dinosaur, boy. Uh, he takes me to the back way, finds the first aid kit, sprays it, sprays my hand with some white stuff. I'm like, uh, what is this? After the fact, I found out it was to clot the blood. That junk wasn't working, though. But I'm like, dang, first a booty on my finger, then he just sprays some white stuff. I'm like, yeah, yeah, my finger finna get infected. I'm pretty much sure. So he wraps it. He wrapped that guy tight. I'm like, okay, yeah, my finger gonna be blue. I ain't gonna know what to do. I ain't gonna have no clue. All right, I'm done with you. Yeah, all right, anyways. We went to the nurse, the local nurse by the by our office, and she's like, as soon as she looks at it, oh, yeah, he needs stitches. I'm like, no. I'm like, uh, yeah, he's gonna need about six. I'm like, ah, ain't that a biscuit. Then I, I call my mom, and she's like, well, I sent the picture you sent to me to a nurse, and she said it'll close up by itself if you just give it some time. I'm like, ooh, I like how that sound, because uh, I'm not trying to get stitches. I'd rather just have two thumbs. Mind you, my skin was off about this much off off of there you can see that far it's off pretty good just dangling there not nah, so when we, when we wrap it up it's it's holding good but as soon as we take that wrap off blood just boom 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 i'm like am i losing too much blood or do y'all even care if i lo lose too much blood because uh this ain't looking too good buddy then we finally get to the the real hospital we go to the med emergency room first off you had to pay to park in the emergency section so that automatically rules out homeless people the homeless people can't even freaking go in the emergency room because they broke i'm like dang well they wouldn't be parking but if they were parking they wouldn't be parking. anyways i go into the emergency center she looks at it she's like "Ooh." they start taking checking my oxygen i'm like oh no <laughs> when they start checking i didn't i never been in an emergency room that i can remember so when i went and they doing like the, probably the normal procedure they checking my oxygen i'm like am i really about to die like you checking my oxygen it's probably something serious but then uh I sign, I sign some papers, and they're like, "Oh, uh, just sit over there." I'm thinking it's the emergency room. They gon', they gon' get to me fast. Twenty minutes later, <laughs> they finally come get me. Like Richard, Richard Banks. I'm like, "Thank you, God. You don't got. First off, you don't got to stutter my name. It's not like it's Daquan Natalilan. It's Richard Banks. Like that's the whitest. Sorry, that's the simplest name that I can get. It's money. Come on, man. Don't I just look like money? Like." Anyways, so they finally take me to the back and I look over the sign and it says emergency overflow. I'm like, dang, so basically I'm just the unwanted. <laughs> like they just put me over here like, uh, you an extra nigga, just go over there. So I finally get in the room. She cleans it. She opens it. She's like, hey, what did you get cut with? I'm like, well, he just bought, I went to Home Depot with him the same day and he just bought this blade and he, he handed it to me and I tried to cut it. He was like, so, oh, it's a new blade. It's a clean blade like so your hand shouldn't be infected i'm like oh yes because <laughs> this whole time i thought my hand was gonna be gone then she starts touching it and she's like can you feel that now i could kind of feel it like i could feel that she's touching it but i couldn't feel it like it's my thumb but i couldn't feel like oh yeah she's touching my thumb so i'm like yes she's like all right good that just makes that lets me know that none of your nerves are broken i'm like or severed i'm like uh maybe maybe i didn't feel it it was kind of numb i don't know uh yeah so she finally uh, she finally starts cleaning it she cleans it. it didn't hurt at all when she was cleaning i'm like dang you just a professional huh then she puts a little wrap over it and leaves i'm like i'm still bleeding can you can you hurry it up then 20 minutes later first off this is an emergency room shouldn't someone have some urgency in that emergency room like 
come on now but i guess everyone just takes their time and do what they gotta do but maybe they they run it fast and it's just a lot that they gotta do i would never know because i ain't signing up for that but she comes back and i'm asking her because my mom always told me they don't put you to sleep for stitches and i'm asking her uh so are you gonna put me to sleep or she like oh no you can look away or you can look at it i'm just gonna do it right here i'm like whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. you acting like i'm finna just get a band-aid you you acted like i just scraped my knee no nah, no nah. my thumb is hanging off so don't don't try and make it seem like this just a normal everyday thing i'm new to this i'm like uh are you gonna numb it she's like oh yeah i can numb it for you so if i didn't ask you wouldn't have done it okay then she puts the she sticks the needle like oh it's gonna pinch a little bit she sticks it right into my cut i'm like oh a little bit uh-huh let me do it to you then she squeezes she squeezes the liquid to numb it i see the liquid going through my thumb that's what that was the that was it i was like yep can't look and then I realized I might be one of those people that see their blood and start getting queasy because my stomach started bubbling like I had to go take the largest dump of my life. I was up there like, okay, go, go. But while, surprisingly, while she was putting the stitches in, I didn't feel anything. It felt like someone was just pulling on my shirt if my shirt was on my thumb. You, you get it? Like, it seemed like she all I felt was her pulling the skin, but I didn't feel it hurting. That, that numbing, yeah, that, that she numbed it good, boy, because normally... I'm used to the numbing from the dentist. We all can we all can realize they don't really numb that junk unless they are doing some t like tonsil wisdom teeth stuff. Cause if they say they numbing it, you still feeling it and that junk still hurting. I got I got my tooth pulled. That junk still hurt and they said they numbed it. But back to the story. I didn't feel anything. She she laced me up. I guess <laughs> she laced me up. Cause that's what my finger looked like a shoelace. I was like, uh, it was my left thumb too. I don't think you can see it that far. Let's zoom in a little bit. Here's how it looks right now. It's not that bad no more. It still don't look normal, but it's not that bad. Now before, yeah, it was it was pretty dangerous before. Uh, it looked like actually I'll put a picture right right here. Um, yeah, it was pretty bad. It looked pretty ugly. I looked like a scarecrow for a minute. Everybody's like, whoa, they just left it like that? I was like, yeah. Did she, did she do it wrong? Did I go to a bootleg one? Because a lot of people kept asking me, why did she just leave it looking like that? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. I didn't do it. So we finally leave. They gave us, the, they actually gave us the money back from parking in the emergency room. So I guess they just wanted to make sure we... You you know come you know bye. We finally we finally left. I go home and then she said two days. Leave it wrapped for two days and then give it some air. When I gave that after that numbing wore off, bro, it felt like I had a heartbeat in my thumb. Why do I keep giving expressions that have nothing to do with my thumb? But that junk was throbbing, boy. That junk was hurting. Then she put one through my nail. Didn't even ask for my permission. She just said, oh, I had to put one through your nail. So when your nail grows, it's going to pull on the stitches. It's going to hurt. I'm like, wait, slow down. Because <laughs> all I heard was hurt at the end. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please repeat that. Take it take it down a notch. Now, what'd you say? Oh, you think that's okay? No, nah, no, nah, it's not okay. Unless you're going to come and help me when I'm hurting. <laughs> Anyways. My mom brought me some Advil, and it got mad real. It was okay, and uh, pretty much after that, it was two days. I let it breathe. It was looking ugly. I still went to work the next day. Still went to work. Uh, now, see, this is what I was liking. I was going to work. Now, I definitely wasn't doing nothing. I was already, like, just watching people barely, so I wasn't really working anyways. But now, I was just walking around like, <laughs> oh, yeah I'm, yeah, I'm good. I'm getting paid. I'm good. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm good. Oh, knife. But they still make knife jokes, so it's a knife. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm last name Banks. Don't forget to comment. That's the most important thing to me right now. I really want some comments. I, as you, if you can look back through my history, I reply to every comment. So if you guys leave a comment, you will be seeing last name Banks right under that comment, saying thank you or replying to your question or having a conversation with you really. And uh, leave a like because that helps everybody else know that it's a good video. When they when they're looking through the search bar, like oh yeah, it's a good video, and they can come watch it and support with us because it's a family over here, man. And uh, subscribe. I think I have 38 subscribers currently. So I mean, whoa, 30. <laughs> I'm way bigger than that. I got 58. And I mean, I'm trying to get to 100, and that would be cool for me. That would be great. Uh, so thank you for watching. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Video every day. All right. Third time was the charm. <laughs>